right, well, it's about 5.30 on the 29th. This is check number three on my uh, line by my house. Uh, if you've seen the first video, uh, caught a few things, had some success down in Southern Iowa, but uh, we're gonna start getting after it. Pretty good adding stuff every day, but today it's supposed to rain, so I can't get out in these fields if everything's wet. So what I got planned is check them right now before the rain gets here. I don't like checking stuff at night, just don't. But I gotta do it. Though I do have a pretty good surprise. Um, that one camera we put by the reactor came back through last night so show you that picture and uh, show you show you what's in the set when we get there Well, sorry I didn't do too much filming, but it was all pitch black, and uh, I'm just getting back home. Uh, the only two things I caught were that really nice coyote right here um, that I had on camera last night, and then this big boar, raccoon, and a dog proof. Um, same farm, kind of surprised I didn't have any more, uh, more traps hit, but I also didn't get out and check, so I could have had some misfired, could have had some dug up, I don't know. But uh, we're supposed to get some rain, sleet, maybe some snow later today. So I had to get out there early and check all these. So um, hopefully we'll be back at it tomorrow and I'll be able to reset some stuff and go that way. Well, it's November 30th out here checking. Uh, first thing this morning, got some stuff to do right away but it is cold uh, a regular temp is like 18 degrees and it's 20 plus mile an hour winds here and i mean it's it's really close to zero it's single digits for sure um i'm about halfway through my line and i got nothing so no dig ups i don't know if they didn't run much last night with it being super cold and windy but I kind of expected this. I haven't been able to get out too many more traps like I had planned, just have other stuff going on and running out of time. So hopefully after this weekend, um, after after gun season here, um, I'll be able to get back after it a little bit more, add some more traps. At least that's, that's the plan. We'll see though. Hopefully we can, the back end of the line will produce something. Well, I'm on trap like number nine. And when I put this out, I knew it was gonna be a bomber spot right where uh, kind of a bunch of grass meets on the edge of a couple fields. And sure enough, we got a beautiful coyote out here. Let's, uh, let's go look. All right, another morning checking traps. Uh, first farm where I caught the first coyote of the season. Um, still empty, four sets still empty. Um, on the second farm, the coyote sets are all empty. I did have a couple coon cuffs out here. This one, somehow, I must have just got them by the finger. But I got, got a big coon right there. So um, I'm gonna take care of him rebate these and uh on to the next all right next farm put this 
trap out two days ago and uh, got a beautiful coyote. Um, he uh, did exactly what I wanted to do, full paw catch. All right, got another big fat boar. Uh, I have two other dog proofs like five feet away and they haven't been touched. This one is the same one I caught the other day. So uh, he's just finger caught. So I'm gonna dispatch him real fast. And uh, I got one more, one more trap to check and then I'm done for the day. So far, two coon and a, and a coyote. Last check will be tomorrow. Then I'm gonna uh, spring them all for the weekend and I'll reset on Monday. All right, it's December 2nd. Uh, it's pull day for me. Um, basically, I'm just springing all my traps. I got some buddies coming in this weekend to deer hunt with me. And I tried to run traps last year during this time and it sucked. It was, you get up at three o'clock in the morning and do it and run it for an hour or you, uh, um, have to do it when you get back and we hunt like an hour and a half away from my house and then by the time we get dinner it's it sucks so um i figured it's just easy enough to spring all my traps and then i'll come back first part of the week and reset everything so first farm all empty nothing there headed to the second farm hopefully we have a decent day and catch a couple more things well we're not gonna get skunked this is the same trap i caught that big boar in yesterday oh this guy's actually a lot bigger than i thought he was he's huge got a muddy one another big one though uh these two traps have been here for a week and this is the first thing i've caught another one a little bit smaller but it'll work it's the same spot i caught a big one yesterday so uh get him taken care of and get on to the next one. Big old fur ball. That thing is so fat. So this is three days in a row I've caught a coon here and this thing is massive. I mean this it's the biggest scoot I've seen in a long time. Yeah, this one's gonna go, uh, we're gonna get this one tanned, he's huge. I'm gonna get him taken care of, spring the other two traps, and uh, I gotta get to work.